What's going on YouTube? I'm your host Joss. Welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. If you're new here, make sure you follow the BTS team on social media. All of our links are down below. And stick around to the end of the video to join me as I do some comment shout outs. On our channel, we cover all kinds of celebrity gossip. We talk about relationships, we talk about breakups, but there is one thing on our channel that is missing. Hookups. Let's talk hookups. Even in my own personal life, I always love hearing about those unexpected hookups. Don't lie, you do too. So let's talk about people that we don't actually know instead. Here's today's list of top 10 celebrity hookups you never knew about. at number 10 is Ashton Kutcher and Rihanna. Let this one sink in for a minute. I'm a little weirded out. Maybe I'm just living under a rock, but I'm not sure how I missed this. Apparently they had an eight week fling and it all started after pictures leaked of her leaving his pad in the middle of the night back in 2012. Sources say the two of them hit it off at a friend's party in December and began having a little casual fling after that. A photographer busted Riri as she drove up to his property with her security team around midnight one night and they caught pictures of her leaving around 4 a.m. A source told The Sun, the flirting began as soon as Rihanna and Ashton met and swapped numbers. That moves on to text and arranging to meet. They snuck off to a Santa Monica hotel a few weeks ago. They are two single people having a fling, so they thought it would be best to meet in secret. I guess the hookups lasted for eight weeks and nothing serious really came from it. It was really just a fling. At number nine is Matthew McConaughey and Janet Jackson. This is weird. Why are all these hookups so weird and random? The two of them caused chaos in Hollywood after posing for a picture at the 2002 Grand Grammys. Rumors started that they had a fling going on, but Matthew always denied that there was anything between them. His side of the story is, I quote, We swapped some good music and she's a dear lady. She's a sweetheart, but we're not dating. We're just friends. But her side of the story is, I quote, I guess we did date. He's a great guy and such a sweetheart. It was just for a minute and that's why I am so hesitant to mention it. Okay. So which one is it? I think that they had this little thing going on, but maybe it was more serious for her. Like they weren't on the same page about it. What do you guys think? Either way, it's weird. I don't care what anyone says. I just cannot picture them together. Coming in at number eight is Kim Kardashian and Nick Cannon. I feel like I should have known about this one. Like it should have made more headlines or something. Unless it did and I just didn't see them. The two of them got together after Kim's whole sex tape thing. And apparently the sex tape is what ruins their little fling. They got together back in September, 2006 and called off what they had going on a few months later in January 2007. You could kind of say they were dating like they were an item. Nick calls Kim one of the nicest people you will ever meet, but told the Howard Stern show that they ended because she lied about her sex tape. He told the story saying, this was my issue. We talked about this tape and she told me there was no tape. If she might've been honest with me, I might've tried to hold her down, but the fact she lied and told me there was no tape, no. He even went as far as saying that he thinks Kim had something to do with the tape's release, like it was actually planned. Regardless though, Nick doesn't have anything to say about her or their few months together, and Kim doesn't have anything to say about it at all. Sliding into our number seven spot is Mel B and Zach Efron. The world was shook when it was revealed that the two of them hooked up back in 2017. I am still shook, you guys. It was around the time that Mel split from her husband of 10 years. What better timing than to hook up with Zach Efron, right? <laughs> According to The Sun, Mel, who was 43, then met Zach, who was 30, on an exclusive dating app where they started to exchange some flirty messages. An unnamed friend of Mel's told the British news paper. He ended up driving over to her pad. They hit it off and spent a few enjoyable hours together. It wasn't exactly a meeting of the minds. Neither saw it as long term, but there was chemistry there. Mel thought Zach had an amazing body. Well, duh. Neither of them have confirmed nor denied the hookups, which is almost a confirmation in itself, I feel. Mel made an appearance on Piers Morgan's Life Stories, and he asked her about the hookup rumors. She didn't say anything, and he asked, no denial, and Mel responded with, but no comment. So basically, yeah, it happened. At number six is Jay Leno and Sharon Osbourne. She has had no problem talking about their brief fling, which happened over 40 years ago, apparently. She revealed all the juicy details while speaking to Howard Stern on his Sirius XM show. Turns out that when they had their quick run together, she was 25 years old and it was before she married Ozzy Osbourne, just to put it into a timeline for you. Fling happened after she moved to the US and saw one of his stand up comedy shows. She liked what she saw and started to flirt with him through these goofy prank calls. That's one way to flirt, I guess. Sharon explained the story saying, one thing led to another. He came to my house and met me and then we had a little fling. The fling was more fling for me and not fling enough for him. 
I'm not even sure what that means. Jay told his version of the story on The Tonight Show and said, What happened was, she had seen me at the comedy store, I never met her, and she got my phone number and she called me every night at midnight for an hour. She was just calling me, but she didn't say who she was. She just had this British accent and she was really intelligent. Well, there you have it, ladies. Now you know what to do to get the attention of your next crush. Call them at midnight, but don't tell them who you are. Halfway through the list at number five is Paris Hilton and Val Kilmer. This list is just getting weird. Definitely the most random pair ever. They shocked fans after pictures surfaced of them making out back in 2006. The pictures were reported to be from 2002 during the time that Val was filming his movie Wonderland, which Paris had a cameo in. The pictures were published in an Australian magazine and show Val groping and kissing the blonde bombshell. They were pretty steamy pics, I'm not gonna lie. But their age gap was the main thing that surprised most people. Paris was 25 at the time and Val was 46. Turns out there was a big scandal tied to those photos. New Weekly reported that the images had been leaked for an upcoming auction of Hilton's belongings, which were legally seized from a Los Angeles storage unit after she fell behind with payments. The pictures are believed to have been taken in Val's West Hollywood mansion. Another reason why it was so shocking was because just one year earlier, he was criticizing her to the media. He said, Paris Hilton is a great example. She's famous for nothing. It's what we are celebrating in my country, the nothingness of her fame. Well, he clearly wasn't bothered by her nothingness when he was hooking up with her. Here we are at number four with Carmen Electra and Simon Cowell. We saw the two of them making headlines back in 2012, but I think I can speak for the majority of us and say that we were hella confused as to what their situation was. But after a lot of speculation, Simon finally confirmed that they were dating each other, but they weren't exclusive. He went on air with Ryan Seacrest and said, I quote, she's not my girlfriend, we're people who date. He was smitten by her though and kept talking about how adorable she is. The feeling was totally mutual though. Carmen opened up about the relationship or whatever it was and said, he's so cute, he is adorable. He is actually a sweetheart. The thing is, we worked together on Britain's Got Talent. I was a guest judge and I had so much fun. I really liked him. I think he's really cool. However, things got nasty between them when she found Simon hooking up with Lauren Silverman. Like literally found him. She walked in on them hooking up at his LA home. Awkward. All right, you guys, at number three is Cameron Diaz and Tyrese. It happened back in 2007 when they were spotted making out at an LA club. And on top of that, she was at an Oscar party with him, which had the media going crazy. A source reported the makeout session saying, they made out right in front of me on the dance floor. Tyrese was 28 years old and Cameron was 34. There really isn't much else to the story other than the fact that Cameron was simply enjoying her single status after she split with Justin Timberlake. Things seemed to get hot pretty quickly between the two of them, but the fire went out just as quick. It was very short lived. In spot number two is Chelsea Handler and 50 Cent. When the hookup rumors started to spread back in 2010, I thought it was all just fake news. But then Chelsea told Oprah Winfrey that he was a sweetheart and was, I quote, so cute, but that their fling wasn't anything serious. She later decided to air out all of her dirty laundry when she went on Howard Stern's morning show and spilled all the details. And when I say all, I mean all. She straight up talked about how the sex was. Chelsea says they started talking and flirting after he appeared on her show. There was a weekend when she was traveling to Nashville and he asked if he could meet her out there. She says, I quote, we went out, we dated, we had sex. My friends all loved him. So we dated for a couple of months, but their breakup story was the juicy part. Turns out she was having his ex-girlfriend Sierra on her show and he called her the day before to tell her that Sierra wants to get back together with him and is upset about them dating. Chelsea tells the story saying, so you're telling me this girl wants to get back together with you but she's upset that you're dating me is what you're saying? He's like, yeah, so I just want you to know when she comes. Then I called him the worst thing you could say to a black person short of calling him the n-word, something along the lines of being a gangster. And it was really, really offensive and I hung up and I've never spoken to him again. Coming from Chelsea though, that really doesn't surprise me. Taking the number one spot is Cher and Tom Cruise. How did this even happen? It's known as one of the most baffling romances in Hollywood history. They actually were an item back in the 1980s. She opened up about it over the years to multiple media outlets saying that they met at Sean Penn and Madonna's 1985 wedding. Cher has noted that he was not a Scientologist during their time together and called him, I quote, just the most adorable man you can imagine. She even went as far as saying that he remains in her top five list of best lovers, if you know what I mean. She said, it was pretty hot and heavy for a little minute. When we kissed, I thought my head would shoot right off my body. Get it, Cher? The romance was brief though, and by the sounds of it, she probably wishes that it lasted longer. Well, there you go. That is our list for today. Let me know in the comments which hookup shot to you the most and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. For now, let's finish off the video 
with some common shout outs. Clay Talman says, you should be careful Joss, Disney may someday purchase YouTube. You know, that's a valid point, but I'm only sharing what's already on the internet, so I'm not too worried. Jack Sparrow Time says, please, can I get a shout out? Only because you said please and because your name is Jack Sparrow and I love him. P-Hole Ryan says, I wonder if Joss ever gets tired of hearing how beautiful she is. May get creepy after a while? How about love your commentating? It's nice when a pretty face has a beautiful personality too. Yeah, it can be a bit much. I appreciate it though, but honestly, this would probably be less creepy if your name wasn't P-Hole Ryan. Breezy says, what's a butterface? So apparently, my fellow hosts tell me that it means it's when a girl has like a really hot body, everything's good, but her face, but her face. On that note, I'm getting out of here. As Ellen would say, be kind to one another, but her face is not a compliment. If you wanna keep watching more BTS videos, just stay on this screen and click the icon that will appear right over here. I'm your host, Joss, and I will see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,